Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we are going to be trying a new hair dye and you guys, when I saw that this company was coming out with hair dye, I immediately got so excited and knew I had to try it for you guys. If you guys do not know, Killstar, the clothing brand, came out with a variety of different shades of hair dye, semi-permanent, so it will wash out after so many washes. I did get all five shades for you guys, so we are going to be swatching them, talking about the formulation. Is this hair dye good? Let's try it together and see if it comes out of the hair. I'm so excited to try this. So let me show you the packaging, because this packaging, a 10 out of 10 for me, okay? Love the packaging, love the black box, love the holographic lettering. I like that they put the shade name and color at the bottom of the boxes so you know what it is. So like I said, there are five different colors here. Let me run through them. First shade we have here is Hell Kitty. Love that, very close to Hello Kitty, but not Hello Kitty, Hell Kitty. Next shade we have here is Blood Moon and there is a Lunar Tide shade already called Blood Moon and I love that shade. So let's see how this one compares. This color is in the shade Wolfsbane and if you guys did not know, I love Twilight. Love the Vampire Diaries, so I'm in love with this name. This is the next shade. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this because I have no idea how to say it and I have no idea what this is. Um, so yeah, here's the next shade. It looks gorgeous though, like a maroony, deep burgundy color. And the last shade is called Gothic Grape. I love that name. I think it's so cute. Gothic Grape and Hell Kitty are the two shades that I'm eyeballing the hardest right now. So here is the packaging. Like I said, at the top there is a eye up here in a triangle. I think that's like an Illuminati symbol or something i'm not sure but i like it nonetheless super cute the symbol is also right here on the front like i said it is semi-permanent hair color since this is a new color line and they've never done color before i need to read everything about the product how to use it what is in it to make your hair feel better so let's just read the box together and kind of see what this semi-permanent color is all about so for best results apply to porous pre-lightened blonde hair. Obviously you wanna apply this on blonde hair because it's a semi-permanent vivid hair color and if you apply this on dark hair, it's obviously not gonna show up as well. They recommend you do a strand test. Obviously it's a good idea to do a strand test before just dumping it all over your head. And luckily for you guys, I'm doing a strand test on these blonde swatches and we're gonna see if they come out of the hair. The name of the product is Coven All Seeing Dye. So I like the little eye because like all seeing dye. I think it's cute. It rhymes, it goes together really well. Love the packaging, it's very kill star. On the back, it says, Coven All Seeing Dye is an easy to use semi-permanent hair color with conditioner for direct application, free from ammonia and peroxide. And then for directions for use, it says, wear gloves, use old clothes and towels if possible as staining can occur. Wash in towel dry hair, place petroleum jelly onto the skin and scalp around your hairline to minimize staining. Starting at the roots, but avoiding the scalp, work the hair color evenly through the hair all the way down to the ends. Reapply more hair color when necessary. Once hair is fully saturated, use gloved hands to gently work the color upwards through the hair in sections until the product starts to froth slightly. Comb the color through the hair to ensure color is evenly spread. Process for 30 minutes. Rinse with lukewarm water until it runs clear. No need to shampoo. On the side here, it says easy to use, ammonia free and vegan friendly. So there's a little bit about the product. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what the tubes look like on the inside. So in case those were not enough instructions for you, they do have a little pamphlet inside the box that has more in-depth detail about the product and stuff. Here is what the packaging looks like and I love this concept, love the idea. I feel like it's very unique. The, the packaging, the topper, it's very different from a typical hair dye you would see. So here is this color. This is the gothic grape color. Love the packaging. It looks very user-friendly, easy to use. You don't have to have a bowl or brush. You can literally just twist off the cap and go ahead and apply it all over your head. These bottles are pretty small. As you can see, size of my hand, that's about how big they are. This is 3.38 fluid ounces and it retails for $12.99 per bottle. So definitely if you have longer hair, get at least two bottles to make sure to coat the hair. We are gonna see what these colors look like on blonde hair and what the texture is i am dying to see what the texture is is it going to be runny is it going to be really thick is it going to work into the hair i have so many questions it's always so interesting when a brand starts making color that is not originally a hair brand so i'm very excited to try these today i'm going to open up all the boxes and get the tubes out and show you what the tubes look like of each individual color okay so i was just looking at the packaging of the bottles and already i see an oversight these bottles 
do not have the individual shade names on them. So once you open up the packaging and you get rid of the box and you just have the bottles left, the bottles don't have the color or shade names anywhere on the packaging. So that's something I would love to see change, especially because these colors have a very similar color story. They're purples, they're burgundies, they're reds. So some of the shades you could easily mix up. Here are all the colors. So as you can see, it's a very similar color story. So for instance, there are two purples here. One is darker and one is lighter, but I have no idea which color is which now that I've opened these up. I could obviously figure out which color these three are. Like I know this pink one is Hell Kitty. I know this one is Blood Moon. And I know this burgundy one is the Goita one. So I know what those three are, but the two purple shades, I'm not really sure which is which. I do have two boxes of each color. So thankfully I can just open up one of the purple boxes and see which one is which. But in the future, I would love, love, love if they put the names of each color directly on the bottle. Um, maybe I'm just dumb and like I can't tell the difference, but I just think it would be very beneficial to the consumer to be able to see what color it is. Let's say you buy like this purple color and you love the way it looks and then like two months later it's faded out and you wanna go buy more, but you forget what the color is, you know, and then there's two purples. So you might not remember which purple you got and the bottle that you have left doesn't say the color on there anymore. So then you're left wondering like, what purple should I get? I can't remember which one I got before. And if the name was on the bottle, you could easily just go look at your hair color collection, see the name on the bottle and just reorder that color. So that's one thing I'm seeing. Um, obviously when new companies release new products, there's gonna be oversights. Things are gonna get tweaked and changed as more products come out and as they get consumer feedback so that's one thing i would absolutely love to see changed on the packaging other than that i love it i feel like it's so user friendly like i said the tops just twist up like this you can squirt it out on your hands let's see if there is a preventative there is not okay that's an oh these smell so good oh this smells like candy oh my gosh i've never smelled a hair dye like this before you know what this smells like i'm spot on so if you buy this come back and comment and say you were 100% right with the smell because this smells exactly like a bucket of Halloween candy, specifically the bubblicious little twisty bubble gums. You know, they're like pink and yellow, the little individual like pieces of bubble gum. It smells just like that, or it smells very similar to just like sniffing a bowl full of Halloween candy. Love that, love the smell. This smells amazing, oh my gosh. Okay, so I opened the packaging to see if there would be a like a safety seal. That's another thing I would change on the packaging. During shipment sometimes, things get rattled around and I have personally experienced several times where I've ordered hair dye and the lids come unscrewed during shipping and I get color all over inside the box, all over the tubes. So if they just put a little safety seal on the top of these, that way you have extra protection, you know, with shipping. They do already come in this box. So if the, if the lid does screw off, at least the dye would be contained somewhat in the box, but it's still a hassle if it just happens to screw off during shipping. And like I said, I have experienced that firsthand several times. So adding a little safety seal on the top here so that we have to screw them off and peel it off would add like extra security so that way you don't like spill the dye in shipping. I know it's annoying to take off safety, like safety tabs and stuff. I personally hate taking off safety tabs on hair dye, but I would rather them be there to prevent spillage you know, than to not have them and then just have a package that you're excited about full of hair color. Thankfully, all of mine arrived, arrived safely and most of the time with hair dye, it does arrive safely, but that's just like one little extra step that would make these more secure during shipping. Those are two things I found so far that I would change. Really, really minor things. So let's go ahead and pan down the camera and we will start swatching these. And I'm so excited to see the texture and I can't wait to smell these for the next like 40 minutes. It's gonna smell amazing. So here are the platinum blonde hair swatches. Let me show you each color here. This one is Hell Kitty. We're gonna do that one right here. This one is Blood Moon, Wolfsbane, the one I cannot pronounce, <laughs> and Gothic Grape we're gonna do here. So there are the colors. Starting off with Gothic Grape. I'm gonna give it a good mixy mix here. Make sure everything's mixed up well. Ooh, look how dark and pigmented. I'm gonna give it a sniff just cause it smells extra yummy. Let's go ahead and apply this. 
Okay, it is very, very easy to work with. I mean, this just glides into the hair effortlessly. I'm really not having to work this into the hair very much. I'm glad it's a thinner dye because 3.38 fluid ounces is not very much. But when it is thinner like this, you get a lot more for your value. When you're working with a thicker dye, you normally have to use more product in order to like saturate the hair properly. But because this is a thinner dye, you do not need nearly as much product. It's definitely thinner than like X Mondo or Arctic Fox or something like that. Okay, that one is definitely saturated really, really well. And the hair almost looks black. <laughs> like you guys can see the hair looks so dark. It's like almost black. Let's go in with the one I cannot pronounce. This shade looks absolutely insane. Oh, I forgot to give it a good shaky shake. Let's go ahead and give it a good. Oh yeah, you can hear that. Listen to this. So that's about how thin it is, you guys can tell. Definitely a little bit runnier. It kind of reminds me of Crazy Color. Ooh, this shade specifically is a little bit more liquidy than this one was. You guys can probably tell by the way it's squeezing out of the tube. This one definitely is a little bit thinner than that one is. Oh my God, this color though. Stop it right now. You guys know I just dyed Abby's hair like darker red on the back and brighter red on the front. And that was, um a month and a half ago so she is due for a touch up on her red hair and immediately when i saw that they released these i thought these would be perfect to use on her to freshen up her color so if you guys want me to try the red and like the reddish burgundy shades on abby let me know because we can definitely try these on her hair and see how they look Again, super easy to saturate the hair. I mean, it just glides in. I'm not having to work at all to get this to saturate. Super, super simple. This shade does look a lot brighter than I thought it would. I thought it would be like a super deep, like purpley red. It's not. It's definitely more of like a blood red. Give her a good shaky shake. We're going in with Wolf Spain next. Oh God, this is, this just like exploded all over my hand. Okay, so at the top, it was a little bit more liquidy. Um, there was like some settling from shipping. So the top, as you can see, is like liquid. Make sure to shake really well with these dyes. All right, let's go ahead and work this in. Ooh, this is a nice lighter purple color. Very pretty. I mean, you guys can tell, I literally have done like three strokes and it's already like saturated and worked into the hair. You do not need much of this at all to saturate the hair. I actually love the formulation. Super, super user-friendly. I'm really excited about this one. This one is Blood Moon. Let's see, oh, oh, oh no. I got a little bit on this swatch over here. That just like got everywhere. So I'm actually going to do the red on this one and the pink right here because I just accidentally got the red all over this swatch. Look at that, oh my gosh, this red is insane. Look how, I mean, do you guys see what I'm saying with like the saturation? Look at that. I mean, it just soaks right into the hair. Definitely will be very messy. Make sure to wear gloves and like protect the walls and the floor around you because it does seem to fly around pretty easily. So here is the red color, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This red is so pretty and these smell so good like Halloween candy. Oh my gosh, it's making me want autumn and a Halloween time. Just that one. Let's go in with the last shade, which is Hell Kitty. I'm so curious about this one. So when we rinse this, if you guys do see a little red streak on here, there's like the tiniest little hint of red that got there, but we should be able to still see the color. I mean, it's, oh God, this is getting everywhere. Do you guys see what I'm saying? <laughs> Very, very, very messy. I mean, I got drops here, here, here. Let's go in with this pink. Oh my gosh. This is like a really pretty magenta. It definitely has cool undertones. I mean, I'm sure you guys can see like the purpley blue undercast to this pink is absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh, the smell, you guys. The smell is just... Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I want you guys to buy a bottle of this just for the smell. Like it's so great. Everything is saturated and worked into the hair beautifully. I'm gonna let these sit for 30 minutes. I will be right back to show you what they look like and we will go ahead and try and remove these with some bleach and see if they come out of the hair. I'm a little nervous about how easily they're gonna come out of the hair. Just from my experience using so many different brands, the brands that have more of a conditioning base and are thicker 
tend to come out of the hair a lot easier than brands who have a little bit of a thinner consistency and more liquidy. For some reason, I feel like those brands tend to stain a lot more. So I'm a little nervous what's gonna happen when we try and remove these, but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see if they come out of the hair or not. So give me just a second and I will be right back. All right, you guys, we are back. These colors are so, so pretty. Also, I was surprised when I rinsed them, not a lot of them bled. The only colors that were really bleeding when the water was running off of them were the two red shades which if you know red is notorious for bleeding on everything so i was pretty surprised that the purples and the pinks did not bleed all these colors have a lot of pigment in them so i thought all of them would probably have some sort of bleeding or running off when i was rinsing the color but just the reds bled so that's really really good considering how pigmented these are let me show you because these are just so stunning i will show you on my main camera and on my other camera so you guys can see here are three of the colors so so pretty this gothic grape is so so dark it's honestly hard to pick up how gorgeous it is hopefully my other camera does but here are three of the shades and then here are the other two colors absolutely stunning these two valentine's day yes okay here are the five shades rinsed they are so much more vibrant than i thought they would be like this purple right here looks like this in the tube so it kind of looks like it's going to be a little bit lighter but no the color payoff for the color is insane same thing with this red it looks kind of light in the tube but the payoff is absolutely amazing these colors are so vibrant and pigmented a lot of these shades you could also use on burgundy hair or like a dark blonde and they would give you some sort of like color enhancement enhancement so this gothic grape is so dark this color almost looks black it's such a unique purple i have not seen a lot of brands come out with a hair color quite like this this is so so pretty if you like black hair but you like to see like a tinge of blue or you like to see like a little tint of like a purple color this shade would be for you if you like black hair but you want a little bit of something different try the gothic grape because it looks almost black with just a hint of purple obviously in the sunlight you are going to see more of those undertones this one right here is absolutely stunning oh my gosh am i obsessed with this color it is such a beautiful crimson blood color it's absolutely stunning i love this shade so much i also did look up how you're supposed to pronounce this and not even google or youtube knows i watched four different youtube videos and every single one said to pronounce it differently goisha okay so we have goisha govetio okay there's that one apparently this means a practice which includes the invocation of angels of the evocation of demons i don't understand what that means but that's what it means here's another one goisha goisha that seems to be like the most common pronunciation goisha goetia middle latin so there's another one, Goetia. i have no idea how to pronounce this but a lot of the ones say goisha no idea if that's correct but out of the four two said goisha so maybe that's how you pronounce it i don't know here are the colors nonetheless i went ahead and mixed up some bleach and 20 volume we are going to put this halfway down the hair strands and see if these colors come out of the hair all right here we go i'm interested to see if we're going to see any of this color come out within the first like few seconds you know sometimes with pinks that look similar to this you can see the color start to come out before your eyes I mixed up a little bit too much bleach, but that's okay. I'm just gonna make sure everything is really, really saturated. Super curious about the pink. I already know the, per the reds are not gonna come out. Reds just don't come out of the hair with bleach. The only thing I found that gets red out is color oops. So if you do dye your hair red and you're trying to get it out, go to Walmart, Walgreens, or order on Amazon and get yourself some color oops because that's the only thing I found that gets out red and makes it go right back to blonde. Bleach just tends to like make the hair stain even more and just turns it to like an orange color. Okay, so this wolf Spain is turning like a pink color. As you can see, look how dark it is here. It is turning a lighter like pinky magenta-y color. I don't really see much of anything happening on this one of them. <laughs> Being honest anything on the reds nope reds looking the same okay <gasps> the pink you guys look the pink's back to blonde the pink's back to blonde you see how quick that happened it is right back to a platinum blonde in less than five minutes it already changed back so that's a good sign i would definitely use this pink in my hair so let's go ahead and just 
coat these really, really good. Make sure everything is saturated. Just run this on here. I'm gonna cover these with aluminum foil, let these sit for 20 minutes, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished results. All right, you guys, we are back, and I am shocked at how well some of these colors came out of the hair. So obviously the reds did exactly like I thought. They did not budge. They did not come out of the hair like at all. You can't even tell that I even put bleach on them. They look pretty much the exact same. However, the pink in that super, super dark purple, that gothic grape went right back to blonde and very quickly, the pink went back in under like three minutes. The purple went back in under like five minutes. So those two come out of the hair super easily. And then this Wolfsbane color went to like this really pretty pink, like this color combination is stunning. But if you are gonna reach for a purple, I would say get the Gothic Grape and just dilute it to make it a lighter purple like this one because it comes out of the hair way easier. Another thing I forgot to say, obviously I did not fade any of these. I literally just dyed them and I'm putting bleach right on top of freshly dyed hair. If you fade out these colors naturally, they should all fade out of your hair over time. But if you dye your hair and you reach for a bleach-based color remover because you hate it, I just want to show you guys what will happen if you put any type of bleach or bleach-based color remover on these colors, this is going to be the result. If you have any red in your hair that you're trying to get rid of, like I said, use Color Oops. I will leave a link to Color Oops in the description down below for you guys to try. Honestly, I am very pleasantly surprised with these colors. I really liked the formulation. Like I said, a little bit messy, so just make sure that you're wearing gloves. I would not recommend applying this with a bowl and brush just because it is so runny. I feel like color would fling everywhere. I feel like this nozzle top is an absolute perfect way to apply this color with the formulation they have done. It smells great. The colors are really, really pretty. They have so much pigment behind them. They are stunning. The whole color line goes really well together. I hope they bring out more colors in the future. I would love to try those for you guys. I will leave a link to Killstar dye in the description down below in case you guys want to try it. It's so cool seeing a clothing brand that I love come out with hair dye. Like it's just such a cool like cross between two worlds, you know? I also found out they have cosmetics, which I did not know, but they also have makeup. So this dye is called Coven All Seeing Dye and the Coven is also their makeup brand. So Coven is by Killstar and it's a makeup and hair dye line now. So that's really cool. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life there. And if you were to follow my Instagram, you would have already seen that I am trying these dyes. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. I mean